Alrighty, everybody. There's Hello. The switch. So here we are, and we have come to an alternative future that is several years in the future. It's like the 1980s right now that we don't know that yet. Uh, the plot doesn't explain that. And I'm gonna I'm going here because I want to show something I thought was pretty neat. And I don't mean this jump scare here. Should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now. Isn't that a great jump scare? You're just like, um... Ah! You know? Cool! What I've done... ...cannot be undone. I cannot stop... ...what I've put in motion. But perhaps... ...I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. And now, he is my last. Now what we're looking at is basically the future vision that the Tarkov said he saw. Where he imagined the living with concrete and all the things. Drowning the city because the all of this has to end. But even if I destroy the siphon, will I be strong enough to see all the doors and open whichever I choose? And if I bring him here, who is to say that he Elizabeth, will be any hold tight! The monsters I have created. If she made these monsters. What? It's a tear. What is it? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. Now, bear in mind, the Lutesses, a lot of people have asked me who the heck the Lutesses are. It's explained that they, uh, they basically, like, started playing around with a particle that existed in two dimensions at once. And they used it as Morse code to communicate back and forth, and that's how they figured out, Hey! I'm, I'm Lutess. I'm Lutess too, but I'm a Lutess from another world. Cool. Are you a boy too? No, I'm a girl. Really? But we're both Lutess. That's right. Cool. I guess in this universe, I must have ended up with a X chromosome, and you must have ended up with a Y. Ah, that's interesting. Yes, quite. So how shall we meet? I don't know, but we'll find a way. We have time, and each other, and this way of communicating back and forth, etc. The lunatics are running the asylum. Don't even listen to me anymore. All I can do is watch as what I set into motion slides into its terminal stage. It took all I had left in me just to bring you here. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was I was coming to get you. Are we here? Take my hand. Now, up until this point, it's only been explained that six months have passed since you last saw her, but it's actually been a lot longer than six months, as we're about to find out now. The great thing about this scene... The seed of the Prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. I love the lighting here. Say what you will about Comstock. Was a hell of a fortune teller. It wasn't the torture that broke me. It wasn't the indoctrination. It was time. Time rots everything, Rooker. Even hope. I was coming. Songbird. He always stops you. Yes, but I would find a way. No. It's too late for me. I brought you here for your sake. Yours and hers. Yeah. Now, before we take the card, let's look out at the city. Now, you're going to notice Fake Industries is right there on the ticker for the stock market. It says Columbia Sky City threatens New York. And uh, we see uh, 1231, uh, 1983 evacuation alert. Yeah, so, and then there we see, uh, new for 1984, the TC-9000, and so clearly we're in 1984, this is the year 1984, and we see that it is being bombarded by Columbia. 
So, uh, the idea is that, like she said, the lunatics run the asylum. So, we also get to scale, like, how big Columbia is in New York here, just in English. She said, the lunatics now run the asylum. Again, why did she say that? She said that because the city is kind of decided on its own. It's going to try to conquer America. It's going to conquer the world. And there's nothing really that's going to be able to stop them because they've got technological superiority and all these weapons and stuff. Um, we technically did have nukes back then, so I'm not so sure how well a war against Columbia could have actually gone off, but hey, you know, whatever. In alternative history, these guys managed to, to take over the place. But yeah, it's also uh, just an interesting look at, you know, the future, sort of, or, or rather, yeah, the future from a Bioshock perspective, the future, our past still, but it's more it's a more modern world, one that we've all been, well, some of us have been alive in, actually. I was actually born in 1985. So, alright, so now we're going to take this, this card. It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become me. So she gave uh, herself advice on how to not become her. And uh, so we get this this cool little place. And uh, yeah, we're now back I'm in 1912, back. or at least a couple of months after. Twelve. After before she. Kidnapped. There's still time. Alyssa, get your men upstairs. If she gets her on her just hit her with the machines. She opens one tear, and there will be nothing but regrets. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, go back to the main menu and load up one more chapter that I think is gonna be kind of relevant to explain what's going on here. Because a lot of it actually has to do with Booker's own self-criticism, his criticism of, of his past actions. You even notice that when the Prophet first comes up, like, like I think like within the first like hour of the game or so, when he's on the side of a Zeppelin, he says, I know about all your past sins, including Anna. So he already knows, because again, he is Booker. He knows about everything. So let's load a chapter here and see if I can find the right chapter. I'm so sorry if I screw this up. Okay, so we're going for... Uh, engineering deck, command deck. Hopefully it will be uh, engineering deck uh, to command deck. More torture is turning into an M. That's not going to happen. Okay, so maybe if I load command deck, this will maybe work. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be before uh, uh, Comstock gets his face bashed in and drowned. Or Yeah. This is not bashed in, just his head gets socked on the side of a baptismal thing. Rockets, nope, nope, one more, one more. Wait, yep, okay, sorry about that. I was off by a little bit. <laughs> one more back. I figured command deck would be too far forward, but I just I just had to, to know if I could get there faster. Alright, load chapter. See, that's the thing is you don't have save states in this, so you kind of just have to live with it. Right, let's see. Uh, Bioshock 1 obviously had save states. It was awesome. Okay, so we're going for hangar or engineering deck. Yeah, engineering should be close enough. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of combat, but I'm sure you won't mind watching me kill stuff. Also, talk while I'm doing this. So, once again, as I've said in the whole uh, video, which you're gonna see a link to right now, bing! There's a link there at the bottom of the screen. That's gonna deck. be my. Let me take care of this on my own. Sort of in depth going with you. The ending. All right, so we're very close to the uh, end right here. Take that 
skyline to the Prophet's cabin. You've come to wipe your slate clean, false shepherd. But time will walk backwards before you find redemption. Some sins right. can't be forgiven. Basically, that is true. The only way to really be rid of it is to have time well That's right. Also, I'm going the wrong way, I think, for something. Or no. I just got lost. Sorry about that. I'm being stupid. I have to get up here, I think. Uh, and jump off the skyline. There's dirt. Okay, I don't know how I missed that earlier. Alright, let's open the door. Now, this is what I want to show you. This room right here. Because I think this is very relevant and important. All right. Firstly, we see the the tower falling. Now, this now, is my tower. What's this? Now, bear in mind. Bear in mind. This entire this thing had to have been constructed above. beforehand. The it had to have been constructed. In and then like, in my mother's grave, there was a smaller one. So, they were so all this, me. all this isn't newly maybe built. Maybe that's why I can't. can't this, what? This when like I was little, I used to be able out. not just to open tears, but I could create new ones to anywhere I wanted to go. But in the tower. Yes, I'll be right with you. All right. So we have we have the tower being destroyed. We have Battleship Bay. He remembers Stand back. Battleship Bay. I'm ending this. We have Booker. Uh, Fink. No, this is between me and him. You are walking into a trap. I need to do this. Come here, child. Oh come on! I don't bite. See, we have Finkton. My oh my, how you have grown. Over here we have Elizabeth with her first murder, and this turning her into the conqueror in a sort of way. We have the what the events that happened there, and him actually seeing the future, and the bombarding of New York, and then we have this moment here. So all of the events in the game are laid out in order in these pictographs. So he knows this is the last part. This is the last chapter. Him in front of the the pool. He knows that what's going to happen now is Booker's going to come up kill Comstock, and this is going to eventually lead to Booker becoming Comstock. So, in a lot of ways, this is Comstock creating himself, and he's already aware of this. Tell me. Remember, what Comstock am I? Comstock knows this, because you become this guy. Look at you, child. You're hey, a mess. Hey, let go of her. Elizabeth, everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne. And drown in flame the mountains of man. But the Archangel revealed something else. Beware, Prophet. Beware the false shepherd Booker DeWitt. For he shall be as a wall between her and destiny. Why? He hates himself that much. DeWitt, I'm a fool. I've sent mighty armies to stop you. I've rained fire on you from above. I did all of that to keep you from her. When all I needed was to tell her the truth. Ask him, child. Ask him what happened to your finger. Ask DeWitt. Let go of me. Ask him. Ask the false shepherd. Tell her. Tell her, false <laughs> shepherd. Tell her the truth. My hand. Tell her. Please tell her about go. her finger. Now he's doing this as an act. He's really doing this to try to get Booker to kill him. Because this is what he remembers happening. <laughs> Now remember, he remembers everything here. This guy knows what I'm about to do because he is me from the future. She's now, your daughter, you son of a bitch! And you abandoned her! Self-criticism, self-criticism. Huh? Did you self get what you wanted? Booker. Tell me! Booker. Tell me! It is finished. Booker. She now knows. Nothing is finished! Booker. You lock her up for her whole life! Booker. You cut off her finger! And you put it on me! Booker, stop you, it! You put it on me. You blame me. But it was your fault, Booker. You did abandon her. You gave her away, see? What did he mean? Huh? You tell me, what did he mean about my finger? I don't know. I... I just assumed you were born with that. I, I don't know. Your nose. It's bleeding. He's starting to remember what? the truth. Elizabeth, I swear to you, I have no idea what he was talking about. You too. You just can't remember it. No. I'll prove it to you. We'll destroy the siphon. The answer's behind one of your doors. You just have to open destroy it. Destroy the siphon? It's the entire tower, Booker. 
How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But I'll think of something on the way. But yeah, see, that's the thing is... In, in a lot of ways, uh, this, this guy, you know, he knew what was gonna happen. He knew that Booker was going to criticize him. And th by, by criticizing this guy for, you know, giving her up and everything like that, he's really criticizing himself. And, it, and he's literally doing it, but he's also figuratively doing it. It's like having a psychic uh, mental breakthrough, you know? Or, or uh, yeah, it's, it's basically, you know, when a person rel re you know, relieves all their mental baggage and, and, and or rather, they let slip, they Freudianly slip, I should say, their, their actual feelings about themselves when they're lashing out at another person. So it's, 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 it's all, you know, misdirection and stuff like that, but really what we're talking about here is a lot of really interesting symbolism. Locked. Elizabeth. And there's the bridge, but yeah. So I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't covered yet or gone over with this particular section. I think I've done it all. As for the full explanation of the ending, that's already been done. I just wanted to bring up these scenes because I think they're pretty poignant and highlight some more factors that I didn't quite touch upon, which is that Booker blames himself, um, obviously, but he does it by actually blaming himself from the future, but he doesn't know it's himself from the future. It's just, it's very funny because self-blame in this case is literal. And uh, his future self is okay with this because he understands that that's eventually what will turn him into that, that man over there who will eventually try to inspire her to become that old lady we looked at earlier who drowns and flame the mountains of man, literally attacks all, you know, cities and stuff. So, will she eventually become Elizabeth the Conqueror? Well, not if Booker has anything to say about it because by attacking, by getting that note, the C-A-G-E, that inspired her to do something different, which was to get Songbird on her side, take down the tower, and change the destiny, which would eventually lead to Booker smothering himself instead of becoming Comstock. Whew, that was a mouthful. So does that explain everything yet? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this will try to give you a little bit more insight. And thanks for watching. And again, if you need that, that video link, bing, there it is at the bottom. All right. See you around, everybody. Have a good day.